Hi there, Kristen and Joseph. Uh, hope you're doing well today and he's getting some rest. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you on Monday at 3.30. Um, this is your video lesson for today. Um, there's three things I want to talk about. Um, we'll go down the list and if you have questions at the end, as usual, you can shoot me over a message and, um, and we'll go from there. Um, cool. So the first thing is, um, I know he's been spending a lot of time uh, uh, the last few lessons uh, reviewing um, uh, reviewing uh, Twinkle and doing the uh, doing the spooky Twinkle. So keep on working on that. Um, that's a good one for Halloween. Since it's coming around the corner, that'd be a fun one for him to practice for the next uh, few weeks. Um, and then we'll bring it back every year. So um, so keep on practicing spooky Twinkle. Um, and then also make sure to practice regular Twinkle too, so that we, we don't forget it or we get used to playing the spooky one. Um, the other thing I want to do is, um, we started doing this a few weeks ago, but I want to bring it back, um, is uh, make sure we kind of trucking along with Lightly Row. Um, so first thing is just to go ahead and li be listening to Lightly Row. Um, and I was talking to one of the teacher trainers and apparently there are some mp3 files that are available for download uh, for the Suzuki books, um, which is great news for us so that we don't have to rely on YouTube. Um, it's best to work off the recordings because they're kind of like the, the standard. Um, as soon as those come in, I'll send them over. To, as soon as she send me, sends me the link for those, I'll send them over to you. And, um, and then we can put them on like a tablet if he has one or um, you can have on your phone for, the, for him to listen to while you guys are in the car or something. Um, uh, and the other thing too, uh, the lyrics for Lightly Row. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and read them, say them to you, and then um, you can write them down or uh, just remember from the video. Um, so the lyrics for this for the song are are this. So I'll play the melody. So we have Lightly Row, Lightly Row. Oh, sorry, Lightly Row, Lightly. There's more to it than that, but I can just stop right there. That's probably more than sufficient for him. That'll be maybe a few weeks for us to get those down. So first thing I do is, is practice saying those like in really short chunks. And don't even have a guitar in his hands. Like he'll just be like, lightly row, lightly row, and just like leave it at that, right? So lightly row, lightly row. Once he can do that, flowers growing up 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 i think he i think he already knows that so that would be big of a big of a deal for him so once he can do those two separate then you put them together so lightly row lightly row flowers growing up 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 second half lightly rowing all the kids trip up on that one you have to really drill that one um, when we're working with him so lightly rowing lightly rowing They'll want to still flip the back and forth. So they'll put lightly rowing first, then lightly row second, or they'll forget the lightly, the ing is even on the second part. Um, just go ahead and uh, break into small pieces. Lightly row ing. See if you can say it back to you. Lightly rowing. And then this is how I row my boat. Right? So practice, the, uh, practice saying the lyrics. Like I said, do them in small chunks. And then uh, number two, the second thing I want you to practice this week is uh, is the flowers growing up, 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 rain is falling down, down, down. I think we did this a few weeks ago. Um, I wrote down the notes here uh, for you so that way you can uh, follow, or that way you can review at home with him. So remember that's flowers growing up, up, up is G, A, B, C, D, 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 right? And then um, have him sing it while he plays it. So flowers growing, up, 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 right? And then we have it going backwards. I don't think we've done this yet, so if you haven't done this, um, we'll just do one piece at a time, just to show you what it looks like. Rain is falling down, down, down. I would always start with one note. Rain, it's the note D. Rain is, and just go one at a time. Rain is falling. If we get that far this, this week, that'd be fine. Um, so first note, rain is falling down, down, down. So you can have him do flowers growing up, flowers growing up, up, up. G, A, B, C, D, D, D. And see if you can play that to you. And rain, and just have him start with the D. 
okay? And then number three, what I'm gonna do is a name review. Um, so the same way that we do it here all the time, have him stand on one side of the room, call out a note, have him run over and play it on his guitar, and the other, uh, and and just do each 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 uh, do a round with each note. So um, that way he gets more familiar with the note names over here. So for example, um, like all right, call G, and then he runs over and plays G on his guitar. What you can even do too is you can combine the jumping six game with this with this exercise. So say um, if I get the five jumping six out. Right, so we get them over here. Five sticks out, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you have your five sticks, right? I'm gonna do it up here, that way, it's, that way it's easier for you to see. So, well, maybe easier to see. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. There we go, you see them all? Good. Have him stand in the same spot every single time, right? So have him stand at the bottom here. So don't mix it up, otherwise it'll confuse him like which one's which. And first off, review the, view, review the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, right? And then you can have him jump to the second string, right? So jump to the second string. And like, hey, Joseph, that one, the second the second line right there, I'll say the second line, I should say, not second string. Um, so second line, right? So he'll jump to the second line and go, Joseph, you know that one has a special name. It's not just two, it's also called G. You go, okay, you jump to G. Now wait a minute, is there a G on your guitar? And then he can run over and play G on his guitar, and then he can jump on the stick and then run over and play G on the guitar, right? And I would just stick with like G and then maybe B, so B is the third one. So maybe have between the, the second and third stick, or third, second and third line. So jump to G and then jump to B, so G is the third string, and then obviously B, obviously, but uh, is the, the B is the second string right there, right? So having practice jumping between those two, that way he gets used to seeing the lines and the, where their position is on the guitar. Cool, I want you to re, uh, re work on those three things. Um, like I said, if you have any questions by the time you finish watching this video, which is right now, um, uh, let me know, and I will be happy to uh, clarify any points. All right, see you guys on Monday, bye-bye.